Hi, I'm Keith Brown, Senior Technology Advisor here at Kinetico. Reverse osmosis technology is at the heart of several of our drinking water systems. To many, the term may seem complicated or even intimidating, so I'd like to take a moment to explain how the reverse osmosis process works. But first, a word on why reverse osmosis technology is so useful. In one sense, our water is the same as it always has been, literally. The water I drink today may be the same water a dinosaur drank ages ago. Yet in another sense, it may not be the same, particularly in terms of quality. In today's modern world, all sorts of unpleasant stuff can find its way into our drinking water. Prescription medications, oil and gas additives, pesticides, herbicides, and even naturally occurring contaminants such as arsenic, just to name a few, can find their way into our drinking water. Yuck. If you have well water, or your own source from a separate supply, you just never know what may be in there. Even if you have city water, many contaminants are not regulated, or the regulations may be too lenient. And the levels and contaminants can vary over time. There's also the possibility of contamination from maintenance, or line breaks, or miles of old underground pipe. This is where reverse osmosis comes in. Here you see a reverse osmosis membrane. I'd like to introduce Buzz M. Brain. Hey Keith, how's it going? I hate contaminants. Take that. And you, think you're bad? Yeah, come on back if you want some more. Ha! Think you're pretty smart. No entrance, pal. Enjoy your trip down the drain. A <laughs> little creep. The surface of the reverse osmosis membrane carries a charge, and also the pores are very small, letting the tiny water molecules pass through. <laughs> that tickles. But rejecting molecules of, well, just about everything else. The flow of water molecules through the reverse osmosis membrane is facilitated by keeping the pressure higher on the outside than the pressure inside. This process, called reverse osmosis, is how the water is able to pass through the membrane while leaving the other stuff behind. The pressure outside pushes, enabling the tiny water molecules to squeeze through the pores towards the low pressure inside. Hey, what do you mean low pressure inside? You trying to say I'm empty headed or something? No, no, that's not what I mean. Boss, take it easy, take it easy. Little creep. Whew, boy, those membranes are some tough hombres. That was way too close for comfort. So that's basically how reverse osmosis works. Small water molecules are pushed or squeezed through the pores of the semi-permeable membrane from the high pressure side to the low pressure side, while at the same time the larger molecules of the contaminants are rejected and flushed down the drain. If you have any questions or concerns about the quality of your water, please visit the Understand Your Water page and click on Free Water Test at Kinetico.com. Also, don't forget to visit us on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, and be sure to look for my blog also on Kinetico.com. On behalf of everyone here at Kinetico, thanks for visiting our website, and thanks for watching.